command of the moment. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. We are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And it's a second leg match in the round of 16 stage in the Europa League. It is Manchester United up against Monaco. Well, what a game this promises to be, Derek. An early goal here, and these fans will be buzzing. But I just think this could go right to the wire today. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Jordan Pickford begins and got it out. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. And that is offside. Monaco regaining possession. A really good pass. Takes the shot. Crucial piece of defending. So the corner played into the box. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, nothing comes of it. Scalvini. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Not to like about that pass. Balogun takes the shot and keeping it out. Well, they're in front, but they'd love another here just to give them that bit of breathing space. Playing it in, still not clear. Dunk. Camara. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. And finally, up a cul de sac. Oh, big chance! Touched on to the woodwork. And fine work from Monaco to win the ball back. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Anthony. Sinistera. And so the referee blows the whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford. The second 45 minutes then here at Old Trafford. Bellingham, Vicente, Renz. United might be able to cash in. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Action from the quarterfinals of the FA Cup coming your way on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Newcastle United. Well, Derek, that should be a really good game. Down to the last eight with a place in the semi final at stake. That should be an absolute cracker. This looks promising. Can he put it away? Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Here's a change for Manchester United. Very quick thinking there. Donny van der Beek.
into the advanced position. He'll take this on. Well, you have to put that one down as a chance to draw level. Well, it certainly wasn't. An... And quick thinking defensively. Balogun. Given away by Monaco. Vicente. It's a fine United move in the making. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And they will make the change now. And the penalty is converted. A goal is his. And now he can exhale. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. And back underway, 1-0 it is. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Well, here they are on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Around personnel-wise. It might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. Wonderful chance. Oh, a goal. The ball's in the net. A hugely important moment in the story of this tie. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, 2-0 now. Mohamed Kamara. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Marusic. And the ball with Jetson for Nansch. Can he take the chance? And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, he knows this is going to be a tough game now. He's got to get his side playing again here. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Mazraoui. Now Casemiro. Vicente. Jude Bellingham. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? The save was a good one. Well, nothing between the teams over the two legs. Can they take advantage here? Casimiro. That's it. Half time in extra time. The second period still to come.
Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Given away by Monaco. Casemiro. Masrawi with it. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Mohamed Kamara. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Well, a textbook interception. Really closing him down here. Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. Now it is all about the penalty shootout. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. In it goes! His turn to try to convert from the spot. He's gambled on direction and won! A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And he's denied them from the spot. Clinical as always in front of goal. You want a pressure cooker, this is it. He must score. And he's beaten the keeper. Well, a successful kick here and that will be that. And it wasn't the greatest penalty, and it's been saved by the keeper. Well, he's gone for finesse, and it's really paid off. And confidently converted. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. So lethal in front of goal. And he steps up to take the shot. And he scores! And there it is! They can say a big thank you to the keeper. They're heading down for the next round. Well, he's an imposing figure, and he's made it count on this occasion. That really is a good save.
his last three. What will he produce today? Hello and welcome to one of the most atmospheric venues in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Newcastle United up against Manchester United. Well, a semi-final place is up for grabs, so we should be in for a classic encounter here today. With both teams desperate for silverware, I'm expecting a fiercely competitive contest, Derek. And the lineup for the home side. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. He continues his run. And a very good challenge. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Christian Eriksen plays. has a great end to his career. Corner awarded. Who can he pick out? Did well to clear it away. Nusser Mazraoui. And he was in the right place to intercept. Almiron. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Well read to put an end to that attack. Bruno Fernandes has it. Finisterra. Christian Eriksen threads it through. And he's through. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And in the 1v1, Fernandez makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. Back in business and work to do for the Magpies in this second half. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Anthony. United could be on to something. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Arsenal. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. The cross is on. Ericsson, chance to finish. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Let's see about the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Sinistera. And the keeper there to deal with it. And over comes the corner. Well, still an issue here. Lisandro Martinez.
Back to Fernandes. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Gives it a go. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And they're making a change. And over from Ericsson coming up here on EA oh, TV. Oh, they're in Almiron. Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Here's a change for Manchester United. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1 1. Christian Eriksen now. Mazraoui. Now with Bellingham. Good tackle, take it away. Good idea. Oh, great defending. Oh, good vision there. Did making a push near the end must take the lead here and they do and with so little time left that will surely be decisive astonishing drama Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Sandro Tonari. Cabral. How can they find a late leveller? Beguilon. That's a useful cross. Well, there's a time and a place for finesse. Maybe that was neither the time nor the place. Bellingham. Well, they've given him too much space. He thwarted the attack illegally. Uh, perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Well, he can't believe that decision. He's not happy at all, is he? teammate available well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out and so it is full time the referee blows his whistle and it's Manchester United who prevail it's Manchester United who move on yes it was time but they won't worry about that they had to be resilient at times there were periods where they were put under pressure and they couldn't get full control of the big field but they're through to the next round and that's what matters
There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need to talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to the delight. Hello from the Heldenstadt, as it's known, the city of heroes. The venue is the Red Bull Arena. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Germany against Italy. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Good strength to keep the ball. Spot on with that tackle. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Marc Andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Lukas Klostermann plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Barella. Di Lorenzo. On to Barella. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, managing to beat him. Barella. Will it be? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And short it is. I mean Henrichs. The ball with Meyer. Decent position for Germany to be in. Henrichs. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Played over. Still not clear. Donnarumma could be threatening chance here what a save well, just listen to these fans they're urging their team to score here and take the lead <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate over the byline, hence a goal kick. Locatelli. Skamaka. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Well, there's the pullback. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And so it is half-time. The first half action is over here at the Red Bull Arena. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Andri. Germany pushing forward with options available. But nothing comes of it. Barella. Gianluca Scamacca. Barella has it. Takes aim. And what a magical save it was. Well, he's gone short with it. Looking for a teammate. Bastoni. On to Barella. Can he put them in front? Oh, no! He's missed the opportunity! And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. And they make it count.
takes the shot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. So following the deflection, a corner kick. Who's going to get on the end of it? And not the best clearance. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Barella. Domenico Berardi. Well, here they are on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? It's looking promising. And they remain locked together, these two sides, on the back of that save. Well, that keeps it all level. What an important save that is. Trying his luck. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? So competitive.